Good evening, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the online Elim gathering. Sister Luli and I would like to greet everyone a happy and hope-filled New Year. Ang nakalipas na taon ay naging puno ng pagsubok at paghihirap sa buong mundo. Ngunit sa kabila nito, nakita natin ang pagmamadasakit at kagandahang loob ng marami. At naranasan din natin ang mga biyaya ng Panginoon sa araw-araw. Sa gitna ng lahat ng ito, hindi tayo tumigil sa pagkupuri sa Diyos at pagpapalaganap na Kanyang magandang balita. And so for this new year 2021, we are given new reasons to have hope. In Jeremiah 29.11, the Lord makes a promise. For I know well the plans I have in mind for you, plans for your welfare and not for woe, so as to give you a future of hope. A future of hope. What a beautiful promise. Bagong taon, bagong pag-asa. Hope is confident expectation in the faithfulness of God. Hope gives us reason to go on because We know that the Lord is with us. In Micah chapter 7 verse 7, we read in the Message Bible version, But me, I am not giving up. I'm sticking around to see what God will do. I'm waiting for God to make things right. I'm counting on God to listen to me. Sa Tagalog, Ngunit sa ganang akin, kayawe ako mananalig. Hihintayin ko ang Diyos na magliligta sa akin. Ako'y kanyang diringgin. Maikas 7.7 Finally, let me leave you with the most encouraging promise from the Lord in Isaiah 40 verse 31. They that hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on eagle's wings. They will run and not grow weary. Walk and not grow faint. Ngunit ang nagtitiwala kay Yahweh ay magpapanibagong sigla. Ang lakas nila ay matutulad sa walang pagod na pakpak ng agila. Sila ay tatakbo ngunit di manghihina. Lalakad ng lalakad ngunit hindi mapapagod. Isiyas 40.31 May we all continue to hope in the goodness of the Lord this new year, 2021. And may this hope keep us joyful. In Jesus' name, Amen. Happy New Year, mga kapatid, and welcome to the first online Elim gathering for 2021. 2021 na tayo, mga kapatid. We have got this far. We have reached it. <laughs> <laughs> Mukhang excited ka, Sister Mitch. Yes, Brother Ferdy. <laughs> Kasi mga kapatid, you know, whatever we have experienced in 2020, alam ko, all of us, myself included, we have experienced, um, you know, trials as well, hardships, fears, but no matter what, God has been faithful and will continue Amen. to be faithful. We look forward to 2021 uh, with hope because the Word of God says, Uh, the Lord promises us a future full of hope. Amen. Amen. So it's a whole new year of receiving God's favor, God's goodness, and God's love. Amen. Because God loves us all the time and He is always good. Yes. So may natutunan na akong bago habang uh, nagpiprepare kami dito. Uh, actually, we're still in the Christmas season. Yes. Akala ko noon, nagtatapos ang uh, Christmas season with the Feast of the Three Kings. Hindi pala. It ends with the baptism of our Lord the Sunday after the Epiphany. So still coming this this Sunday. Yes. So we can still say Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas. Mga And continue to celebrate. <laughs> Amen. So let's celebrate God's presence in our lives as we come to Him in worship. Let us come in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
and thank you for this new year, this blessed year, 2021. We look forward, Lord, to all that you have in store for us because you promise us a future full of hope. We can rejoice in you, not so much because of our circumstances, because you are in our hearts. So we look forward, O oh Lord, with joy, and we thank you even now, Lord, for all your blessings. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Spirit. Amen. amen. So here is our teacher of the word, full-time servant of the Lord, Sister Lori Lina. Happy New Year mga kapatid! Sana ang uh, pagsalubong natin sa bagong taong ito ay naging kasama natin ang Panginoon, ang Spiritu Santo sa paghingi sa Kanya ng mensahe tulad ng ating ginagawa nga sa ilim na kagawian na natin. At may pagkakataon, maririnig din natin ano ba ang mensahe ng Panginoon para sa ating buong community at yung personal. Nung pinaghahandaan ko itong teaching na ito, May isang salita na ibinigay sa akin ng Panginoon. Resolve. Ibig sabihin, kung meron kang hinaharap na pag-aalangan o problema, eh, gawa ng paraan, solusyonan. Kung meron kang kinakailangan na uh, hindi pa hinaharap, eh di harapin mo na. At maganda ito, sa, dahil sa simula ng New Year, eh di meron tayong pagkakataon na kumbaga isara ang pituan sa nakaraan, ayusin, at harapin natin ang kinabukasan ng meron tayong plano. Pero maganda dito, tignan natin ano ba talaga ang itinutukoy ng ating Panginoon nung sinabi niyang resolve. So, tinignan ko sa dictionary kay Mr. Webster at may mga uh, bahagi ng, uh, ng uh, meaning na ito na maaaring makatulong sa atin sa ating pag-resolve. Pag, uh, ng ating mga gawin. Number one dito, to resolve means to separate into its parts. Ibig sabihin, pwede ring tunawin, pwedeng to dissolve. So, hihimayin mo o paghihiwahiwalayin mo ang mga parte ng isang problema na hinaharap para malaman mo kung alin ba yung mahalaga, alit alin yung hindi mahalaga. O kung sa atin, alin yung sa Panginoon, alin yung hindi sa Panginoon. So, paghihiwahiwalay natin to separate into its component parts. So, to solve something para makapag-resolve tayo, ay kanakalang malaman natin at ah, mga parte-parte nitong program, nitong problemang ito. Tapos, pangalawa, sabi, to reduce to simple and intelligent notions. To unravel to disentangle. Halimbawa, kumbaga meron kang uh, sinulid na nagkabuhol-buhol, tali na nagkabuhol-buhol, ang bago mong masolusyon, tatanggalin mo muna yung mga buhol, hihilahin mong ganun, i-unravel mo, i-disentangle, para makita mo, ahan ba yung mga buhol dito? Matatanggal ko ba? Paano ko matatanggal yung buhol? Kinakalabang putuling ko? Kinakailangan bang medyo hihilahilahin kong ganon para matanggal nga yung buhol o yung problema. At nang magamit kong uli yung uh, lubid na yon o kaya yung thread. ba Pangatlo, to resolve by enumerating the several things to be done. Ito gusto ko eh. Para masolusyonan, malutas, ma-resolve ang isang bagay, eh, kinakailangan planuhan. ba? Ano bang kinakailangan kong gawin? Ito muna, pagkatapos ito, tapos yung pangatlo, at pagkatapos ang ikaapat. So, kinakailangan bigyan din natin ng uh, karapatang oras para mabigyan ng uh, pagpaplano natin para masolusyonan natin ng tama at yung bang kumagang pinag-isipan, pinagdasalan kung anong gagawin at syempre, gagawin din natin. Sumunod, it also says to disperse or to scatter. Ibig sabihin, baka may bahagi ng problema na kinakailangan dispatcha natin. Alisin na natin. Baka kasalanan, baka hindi magandang ugali, baka mga mabibigat na bahagi na nasa puso natin na dapat tanggalin, baka may unforgiveness, 
merong kinakailangan tanggalin upang malutas ang isang bagay. Sumunod, to resolve also means para malutas. Kumbaga sa piano, hahayaan nating tumugtog hanggang sa dulo. Kasi kumisan sa simula, parang wala sa tono, pero pag tinapos natin yung buong awit, ah, ganun pala yun. Ganun pala, sa katapusan, ay maganda palang pakinggan. So, ibig sabihin, bubuin na natin, ituloy na natin, huwag na tayong, hindi ba, urong-sulong sinasabi nila. Gagawin ko ba? Hindi ko gagawin. Tutuloy ba ako? Hindi ko tutuloy. So, nagdi-delay tayo. Kumbaga, hindi tayo decisive sa ating pagkilos, kaya natatagalan din ang paglutas o resolve. So, kinakailangan, hayaan nating uh, mag-flow into its conclusion. Para malaman natin, ah, ibig sabihin din, kinakailangan nakatingin tayo ng malayo. Alam natin, ano ba talaga yung pinupunta natin. Kasi mahalagang alam natin kung saan tayo tutuloy. Kasi kung hindi, ay may problema talaga tayo. Hindi tayo maka makalakad. Hindi tayo makapagsimula ng tama. Tapos kapag nagawa na natin lahat na ito, sa dulo A, eh, to make a decision. To determine after reflection. So tayo gagawa ng isang desisyon, pero ang desisyon na ito, hindi yung mabilisan, isang desisyon na ginagawa dahil napag-isipan na, napagtimbang na ang mga dapat gawin o hindi dapat gawin, napagdasalan na yung mga alam nating gawin bago tayo mag-discern, bago tayo mag So maganda, no? pag yan, gawing simple, gumawa ng plano, tanggalin yung dapat tanggalin, hayaan nating umandar, mag-flow hanggang sa katapusan, kapag nakagawa na ng desisyon, edi go! Action na na. So, to resolve something, sabi nga sa Bible, sa 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 37, sabi dyan, The one who stands firm in his resolve, however, who is not under compulsion, but uh, has power over his own will, and has made up his mind, will be doing well. Okay? Maraming mga words na nakalagay dyan. Number one na dyan, stands firm in resolve. Kapag napag-isipan na, napag-desisyonan na, ay hindi nagbabagong isip. Okay? Firm in resolve, sabi. Pangalawa, not under compulsion. Hindi napipilitan o hindi pa dabog, o hindi pa complain o grumble. Lalo na yan, halimbawa, meron tayong natanggap na mensahe sa Panginoon, a word from the Lord, ay medyo mabigat sa ating kalooban, gagawin ba natin? Malamang gagawin natin eh, kasi galing kay Lord, pero gagawin ba natin ng buong kusa, without compulsion, hindi yung napilitan lamang. ba? Diba? So, kinakailangan firm in resolve, not under compulsion, tapos, sariling uh, decision. We have the power over our own will. Hindi itinutulak sa atin o pinagpagawa sa atin ng ibang tao. Halimbawa, sabi ng elder, gawin mo ito. O, gagawin lang natin dahil sinabi, hindi. Either agree tayo dun sa sinasabi ng ating elder, agree tayo dun sa word, therefore, gagawin natin ng sariling kusa. So, mahalaga yun. Tapos, we have made up our own mind. Alam mo, kumisan sinasabi, pagka humingi tayo ng counsel, tapos may pinagawa sa atin ang ating elder, sa totoo lang, we are free. Right? To obey or not to obey. Decision natin yan eh. Ngayon, kung tayo ay nahubog ng tama, kapag meron tayong word from the Lord, ang decision natin ay to agree with the Lord. Kapag meron tayong natanggap na, na word from our elder, ang ating training ay to agree with the wisdom of our elder. So, pagka naglaban yan, eh, decision, tingnan din natin kung yung will natin is self-will imbis na God's will. So, lahat yung mga yan naglalaro do sa ating pagdidesisyon upang ma-resolve. Now, in, sabi rin ng uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 11, sabi dyan, 
To this end, we always pray for you that our God may make you worthy of His calling and powerfully bring to fulfillment every good purpose and every effort of faith. Ang maganda dito kasi ang sinasabi sa atin, kapag nakapag-desisyon na tayo, we have resolved something, we have decided on something. Sabi niya, to bring to fulfillment every good pur- purpose and every effort of faith with power. With power. San dapat nanggagaling yung power? Kung sa sarili lang natin, eh medyo mahina yan. Yan ang self-will. Kinakailangan ay with the power of the Holy Spirit, yung ating pagdidesisyon, yung ating pagpaplano, yung ating, kung ano man yung ating uh, napag-isipan na dapat gawin at na decision na na natin. So, we never resolve something by our own power except with the accompaniment of the Holy Spirit. Kasama natin lagi ang Spiritu Santo sa ating pagdidesisyon, sa ating reflection, sa ating paggawa ng decision at pati na rin sa ating pagkilos batay do sa decision na yun. Kung paano natin pat- ipapapatuloy yung ating resolve. Mahalaga itong pinag-uusapan natin dahil ngayong natapos ang isang taon at patuloy papasok ang bagong taon. Magbigay tayo ng panahon para magkaroon ng ma-reflect natin yung buhay natin hanggang sa ngayon. Lalo na ang panahon ngayon ay kakaiba. Hindi ba? Dahil sa COVID, dahil sa maraming problema ang hinaharap ang, ang napakarami. Kung papaano natin haharapin o paano tayo mabubuhay dito sa coming year. Lalong-lalo na marami sa atin nakareceive na ng message from the Lord. Anong gagawin natin doon sa mensaheng yun? Paano natin uh, a-actionan yung message na yun? Diba? So, isipin natin, number one, what things in our life do we need to resolve? As of now, yung nakaraang taon, ano yung ating dapat hiwa-hiwalay yan, ano yung dapat mga, mga buhol na kinakailangan matanggal natin yung mga buhol na yon, anong kinakailangan matunaw sa atin o matanggal at nang mahanap natin yun lang karapat-dapat o yung kailangan natin lalong-lalo na sa ating buhay sa Panginoon. What things do we need to resolve? Tapos pangalawa, what steps must we take para ma-resolve. In other words, planuhan natin. May binagay na salita ang, pang- ang Panginoon sa atin, e eh, paano natin a-actionan? Paano natin ma-obey? Ha? Ay, yung, yung pinagagawa sa atin. How, what steps must we take? So, kinakailangan planuhin natin sa taong ito. Sabi ni Lord, halimbawa, mag-grow ka in this matter, e eh, paano tayo mag-grow? Paano tayo magdadasal? Ano yung hihilingin natin para mabuo at mapatupad natin yung pinagagawa sa atin ni Lord? ba? Diba? Tapos, pangatlo, what must we let flow further? Ano ba yung dapat natin ipagpatuloy? Tulad nung sa piano, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Ano yung itutuloy natin para maging mag- maganda? Yung, at, yung flow ng ating buhay. Yung mga dapat ipagpatuloy, ipagpatuloy. Yung mga dapat tanggalin, tanggalin. Sapagat sa ganitong paraan ay uh, maa-action na natin, matutugunan natin, malulutas natin yung mga kinakailangan at yung buhay natin sa, sa Panginoon, our spiritual life, ay nagkakaroon ba kumbaga ng kaayusan ayon sa Panginoon. So, napakaganda, uh, tayo'y kikilos, di ba? Unang-una, pag-iisipan natin ng isang bagay, ano ba pinapagawa ni Lord? Pangalawa, paano natin gagawin yon? Ano ba yung mga steps na, na kinakailangan natin i-take? Tapos, pangatlo, kapag malinaw na yon, kinakailangan ba natin mag-seek ng counsel? Tanungin natin yung ating facilitator. Baka hindi natin naintindihan yung pinapagawa yung mensahe, baka iba yung hagip natin pero binigan ng wisdom yung ating facilitator 
tungkol sa bagay na yun, edi kumonsulta din tayo. Hanggang malinaw. Tapos bigyan natin ng paraan. Ako naging nakagawian ko na pag may mensahe si Lord sa beginning of the year, di binamarkan ko sa Bible. At niya binabalikan ko eh. Para malaman ko kung nasa tamang uh, landas ba yung ginagawa ko within the year. Ayon ba dun sa plano ni Lord sa mensahe niya o baka ako i- na ano to napapahilis na eh. mali eh so kinakailangan met may nababalikan natin to see if we're still on the right path so malaking tulong dito ay binibigyan natin ng oras for thinking about it reflecting on it praying on it lord tama ba tong ginagawa ko tuloy pa ba ako meron pa ba akong kinakailangan baguhin so this is what resolve is all about at ang maganda dito, sabi din na at ginamit ang resolve sa salingatang ito sa Acts chapter 11 verse 23. At ang sabi dito, When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart. Yan ang resolve. At sabi dito, so ang kita mo, the grace of God is at work. There's rejoicing, there's encouragement. To remain faithful, there's firmness of heart. At ang sabi pa dito, For he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And this is what we should be. Na hindi tayo kikilos at hindi tayo magdidesisyon basta-basta, kinakailangan tayo ay filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. Hindi tayo lalakad na hindi natin kasamang Holy Spirit. Hindi tayo magdidesisyon na hindi malinaw sa atin na ito yung path na pinagagawa sa atin ng Holy Spirit. At lalo na sa panahon ngayon na tayo ay mga kulob, nakakulong, hindi halos makakilos, katulad ng dati, kapag tayo ay sinasabi firm in our resolve in, at ginagawa natin ng uh, plano ng paglulutas, action, kung ano yung pinagagawa sa atin, sabi sa dulo ng passage ng act sabi and a large number of people were added to the Lord a large number of people was added to the Lord hindi natin alam kung paano kikilos ang Panginoon ang Espiritu Santo ngunit kung tayo mismo sa ating sarili sa ating buhay tayo ay faithful we are resolved we have firmness of heart Whatever the Lord wants us to do, we are not just willing to do it, we plan for it, we do it on purpose, and we have decided with firmness, kikilos tayo ayon sa Holy Spirit, hindi natin alam, ang sabi dito, a large number of people was added to the Lord. So, let us contribute to the strength and the firmness of witness na hinihiling sa atin ng Panginoon at hindi natin alam kung paano ito makaka-contribute but for sure makakatulong tayo sa pagpapalago ng uh, mabuting balita pagpapaabot nito sa higit na nakararami at kasama tayo sa pagpapatuloy uh, ng plano ni Lord na spreading the good news and waiting for His coming and I pray this for all In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Sister Lori, for stirring us up once again with the Word of God. Amen. Elam Community's vision is to spread the good news to the ends of the earth. If you want to be part of this work of evangelization, please give your tithes, love offerings, and donations to Springs Foundation Incorporated, BPI Kamuning Branch, account number 3141-066756, and BDO Kamuning Branch, account number 115-801-5470. Email deposit slips to mavicargamosa at gmail.com. We pray for all those who gave their tithes and love offerings 
May the Lord bless you a hundredfold for your generosity. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Prayer to Our Lady of Elim O dear Mary, Lady of Elim, sweet and pure, pray that your Son Jesus will, to innocence and holiness restore, the hearts and minds of long-lost souls. Pray that the seed of glad tidings, sown in our hearts, will stir us to great hope, faith, and love. Pray for the vision and intentions of community and of the Church, that with the Lord's watchful care and generous provisions, they shall all be. Pray that the polluted world and all institutions will, from a powerful outpouring of the latter rain, experience the blessings of fresh living water, our renewal of the Spirit, and healing of our lands and of all nations. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Elim Missions Prayer Lord, I make myself available for the ministry of missionary evangelization. On my knees or in the mission field, within our borders or on foreign soil, for a single soul or for the multitudes. Empower me for abundant soul winning. By your Spirit, make me an instrument of your love and mercy, a witness bold and unashamed, and an inspiring bearer of the good news. Send us the laborers, technology, and resources to reach the world. Help us break barriers, overcome obstacles, and penetrate new territories that all the peoples of the earth may know that you are God and there is no other. And to all those we reach, Lord, raise them up to become your true disciples. Here I am, Lord. Send me in Jesus' name. Amen. Horatio Imperata God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stand its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us a grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsoy, pray for us. Panginoon, sa simula ng bagong taon, hinihiling namin, Lord, bigyan mo kami ng mga puso na may resolve, na matatag para sa iyo. At hinihiling din namin, Lord, bigyan mo kami ng pagkakataon na maging malinaw ang bawat gawa namin. At na ang bawat gawa namin ay yun lamang karapat dapat sa plano mo, puno ng kaligayahan dahil sumusunod kami sa iyo. At sa lahat ng ito, Lord, Mangyari nawa 
ang plano mo para sa amin. Amen. Thank you for joining us once again, mga kapatid. And we claim God's abundant blessings for 2021. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Bye. God bless. God bless. Stay safe. See you next week. Oh,